what does it take to get a legal cannabis business up and running in Oregon? We're at the Portland Expo Center for the Cannabis Collaborative Conference. Over 90 exhibitors, 30 education sessions, and multiple keynote speakers to inspire this new market into a new era. Stoner vibe is starting to go away in terms of branding. The hippies, the Rasta, the tie-dyed. It still exists on some level, but it's been classed up and um, all the branding has kind of become more sophisticated and professional looking. This is cool to see the birth of something and watch it change. From the business watch, side. From the business side. We're, we're a little, we dabble in this industry, yes. right? But. You know, the, the negative connotation that goes with some of the industry, it's, it's going away. I would not wear this. One thing that I've noticed is that the women here seem very smart, very focused, and they're stepping into leadership positions right away. 100 years ago, we couldn't vote, and now we're running the industry. Welcome to Producer Processor Workshop 104, which happens to be the most boring title for a workshop that I think that I've ever heard. So thank you for showing up. We, we have a whole bunch of business talent on this panel, so years and years and years of experience. I sometimes think many of these vendors really want to come across as professional and serious, and so some of the conversation can be a little bit stiff. And I almost wish there was a smoking section where we could like take the edge off a little. So another thing that I've noticed is that there are far more men at this conference than women, and they tend to be kind of like older guys. I mean, the age range is all over the place, but I'm seeing fewer Rasta hats and baseball caps and more bald heads. There's a fair amount of women. I mean, obviously there's more men, but there's a fair amount of women. Although I'm not sure I can see anything that really draws me in as a woman. To the point where I actually claimed to Dope Magazine about the fact that they had girls in cheap looking uh, stewardess costumes, which I find offensive. I asked them. And marginalizing. So you're going to hire women but only to look good, and yet you you want to sell to women. You said something? I did. I said something to them yesterday. Tell them it was tacky. I said, who made that woman wear that outfit? And he goes, she wanted to wear it herself. I highly doubt, doubt that. that. So I think it's really interesting that even though we've been legal here in Oregon for, what, seven, eight months, there are some people that are still afraid to be on camera, even though they're at a cannabis conference. So this was fun. I mean, it's a brand new industry and we're getting to see all of these new businesses emerge for the very first time.